welcome back to another video. Um, so today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at another retro figure for a retro review and that is um, from Original Packaging Clone Wars. This one is IG-86 and I say original packaging because this is the packaging first released for the Clone Wars line of figures back in 2008. Um, so now all of the recent retro reviews I've done have actually been Clone Wars figures and it's been through all the little lines that they've done. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. And so we found this, I got this for Christmas. Um, I was actually with my sister when she found it at vintage stock and I'm like, you know what? This is really cool. I had just watched like the first episode of the Mandalorian. I think when we found it and I was like another IG droid. So I really wanted it since, you know, we have IG 11 and IG um, 88. This one's IG-86, the assassin droid. Um, and so very cool. On the packaging, obviously, you have the clone helmet in the background and then the figure in a bubble. I'm not a big fan of these larger bubbles, uh, but I really have always liked the card back on this line. Um, it says the Clone Wars, and then of course it always gives some sort of action feature that you can do with the um, figure. So blasters attached to backpack. Um, IG-86 assassin droid. On the back, uh, the tape is kind of dirty, but it gives a um, small description of IG-86 and then a picture from the show, which has part of Anakin's face in it, um, and then a little close-up of that action piece right there. And then the rest of the characters in the wave, of which I have a couple of them. So anyways, um, that's basically it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and we'll take a closer look. All right, guys, so here is IG-86 out of the packaging and he's pretty cool, he's so small. Um, after reviewing the IG-11 uh, 11 and 88 um, Black Series 6-inch figures. But um, yeah, there he is. He's little. He comes with two blasters. And then this is the blaster backpack here. And what it does is it looks like you can cl clip the blasters on the sides here. And then here's a peg for it to go in his back and over his shoulders. Um, putting it on, it looks like this right here. So not too bad, doesn't make the figure too clunky. It is a different color metal than IG-86 himself. This one's like a very shiny silver. He's a very like washed um, metal, gun metal kind of gray sort of color. Um, I like how very blue his blasters are. Now they're rubber banded to his hands, which I might actually not unrubber band because they're holding it in. Um, but the blasters are all very blue, and so they stick out from the figure in terms of color. I, I like that for some reason. I like the way that they're so blue, because usually these blasters are black, so that's, like, really unique. Anyways, yeah, so he has one in both hands, um, and I he's, I mean, relatively poseable um, for sure, especially for an IG droid. Um, but his head spins, his shoulders are on a ball hinge, elbows move on a ball hinge. Um, the wrists do articulate. Um... They move up and down. Um, the torso uh, swivels. The hips are on a ball joint, so he can do this, which is very unnatural for a droid. Um, his knees bend, but they are going to be... They're kind of like a spring back for some reason. They like don't want to stay in place. They're, oh, there we go. Maybe I just need to loosen it up a little bit. But they felt very springy at first. Um, and they also can bend backwards, so very poseable for a droid. And then, of course, his... His ankles move. You know, and I don't think that when we saw this droid, I personally don't remember this droid whatsoever in the Clone Wars. It's been so long since I've watched it. But I don't think that we get an IG unit that shows its sort of droid performance as an assassin droid until IG-11 from The Mandalorian. So that's kind of interesting. But anyways, that's basically this guy. He comes with um, some, some red paint on the eyes, which I think is a little bit overpowering. It's a lot of red dots. Um, which I think is a little bit more than normal. But this also is a Clone Wars figure, so it's a little bit stylized. And he is, like I said, a little bit of a gunmetal, but he's got some, like, bronzing to him as well. So he's got a couple different shades of coloring in there um, that I think are really cool. And I can definitely see this figure struggling to stand up because of its major posability and, like, really, really small, skinny frame. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But that's basically this droid, guys. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments about this guy. Did you like him? Was it a pass? Do you like the Clone Wars? I don't know. Do you remember this droid? I don't. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah. So um, that's him. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye.